Alzheimer's and dementia are a growing public health challenge, with an estimated 40 to 50 million people living with this condition globally. As our understanding of it grows, we're working to detect and monitor Alzheimer's before individuals even begin to experience memory loss. One of the ways we can do so is with the preclinical Alzheimer's Cognitive Composite, a group of tests also known as PAC. PAC assessments are used in clinical research to track cognitive changes in individuals who may be in the preclinical stages of Alzheimer's disease meaning they have an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's in the future. The PAC composite includes measures of cognition known to show change earliest in the preclinical stage of Alzheimer's, including tests of verbal list learning, paragraph recall, timed executive function. The decline in list learning and paragraph recall memory tasks have been reported to begin seven to 10 years before clinical symptoms of forgetfulness appear. And this is the point at which identification and monitoring of cognitive changes hold the greatest promise for intervention to slow the progression to symptomatic Alzheimer's disease. To develop the PAC, researchers analyzed memory of individuals participating in two large research studies. They compared the performance of those with positive biological evidence of risk for future Alzheimer's with those who didn't have this biological marker. A comparison of the two groups revealed patterns of decline in cognitive performance that are unique to those at higher risk for future Alzheimer's. Because of its demonstrated sensitivity to these very early cognitive changes, PAC, and more recently, the expanded PAC-5, have been selected for use in a number of clinical research studies, exploring potential therapeutic agents at the preclinical stage of Alzheimer's. It's an exciting time in Alzheimer's disease research because with early detection using tools like PAC and PAC-5, researchers have the best chance of discovering treatments that could slow disease progression and preserve the quality of life for a longer period of time in those at greatest risk. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. Stay informed, stay proactive, and take control of your cognitive health. If you or a loved one are concerned about Alzheimer's disease, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance and support. If you want to know more about current research around Alzheimer's disease and potentially participate in a study yourself, visit atri.usc.edu to learn more about the studies and research happening now.